Hi everybody, welcome to another Gaffer and Gear. It's another gear review, but today we're not doing lights. Today we're doing um, clamps and grip stuff. So this is all from a company called iFootage. Now, iFootage does camera supports. So any sort of clamp you can imagine, uh, car rigs, uh, gimbals, things like that, all that sort of stuff. Now they got in touch with me initially and wanted me to do a video on mounting a camera to a car bonnet. And I said, I'm not your guy, I'm a lighting guy. Um, let me have a look through your catalog, see if you've got anything that would be lighting orientated and, and I'll, I'll take a look at it. So they've sent me two of these uh, clamps, which are like very big nano clamps to use a lighting term. So that's their pipe clamps. So they sent me two of those. They sent me a couple of their um, super clamps, sorry, magic arms. So these are their spider crab magic arm 11 inch units. And as you can see there, it's designed you know, for camera, you know, to, to mount a camera monitor but they're pretty good for lighting, I'll give you the tip. And we'll have a look at this one too, which is their uh, Spider Crab Magic Arm 7 inches, 7 inch long. And they've also sent me this 32 inch arm. So this is their uh, the Spider Crab Support Rod 32 inch. All right, so to explain uh, the differences between these or where these are better than what we're currently using in lighting, we'll just um, use one of these first and we're going to mount a DMG dash to it, which is a relatively heavy, small light. All right, so I'll mount to the light first, and then mount the other end to the clamp. And this is where we have problems. So this mounts to the clamp via the thread that's on the arm. And that's, this is our Achilles heel. This is the weak point of a setup like this. Okay, now I'm gonna mount it to um, the stand over here. All right, now because the arm is mounted to the clamp via the thread, if we are on the right side, got the light armed out on the right side of the clamp, we're okay because the weight is pushing in the locking direction on the thread. But I'm sure you've all experienced this at some point. If you put the light onto the left side, okay, that happens because the weight is now making the thread undo itself. Okay, so let's put this aside now and have a look at the eye footage solution to this problem. So we'll start off with the clamp. Okay, so the clamp is made from a beautiful machined aluminium. So the jaws go from 20 mil all the way out to 48 mil, which is quite a big jaw for such a little clamp. Now you've got two mounting options on this. We've got a side mount or a rear mount, and we've got a thread that can move between either mount, which is handy. Now here's the main point of difference. Where the thread is, we've got two uh, keyways or teeth holes on both of our threads. All right, now let's take a look at the arm. Okay, so this is the 11 inch arm. And this is made from beautiful machined aluminium. It has a rosette or a rosetta style um, system, so it can't slip easily. Now also in the, in the box, you get a few other things, so you get a uh, camera shoe, which I don't care about because I'm a gaffer. And you get these two little things, and these are what make all the difference. These are the mounts that connect your device or your clamp to the arm, and this is the key bit of difference. All right, so let's start off by mounting this to the clamp. All right, so here's the first thing that's genius. Unlike other clamps or other arms, you've got dual threads at the end. So on some clamps, You've got the smaller thread at one end, the larger thread at the other, and you have to swap ends. Or you have to take the thread off and put the other thread on. Well, this is dual. So we've got our large thread there, and that's spring-loaded. And inside that is the smaller thread. So how cool is that? That's pretty cool. Now, here's the main bit of difference. On our thread here, we've got our two keyways. And on this, we've got our two teeth or keys. So I'll just line those up and mount the mount to the clamp. Okay, so that's now on. Now, my little handle here, you notice that's got holes in it. So there are keyways or teeth holes. And inside the clamp, you can see we have two keys or teeth. So they line up to the holes on this. Now watch this for ease of fit. Okay, now at this point, I haven't got it locked. Okay, it's still unlocked. But the clamp's not gonna fall out because it's got a safety release. So until I press this release, it doesn't come out. Okay. Now to lock it, I'll just push the lock down there. Now this is not gonna slide or slip on the thread, okay? Because the keyways are jamming it from doing that. All right, now let's get to the other end, our light end. And we're gonna mount our mount to the light. Now 
we've got our teeth or keys on here. But if you don't have teeth or keyways on what you're mounting to, these teeth recess in, so they're spring-loaded. Okay, so they, they disappear out of the way. So let's mount this on. Now on the handle here, we've got our teeth holes or keyways. And inside the clamp, we've got our teeth or keys. And again, it just lines up like that and then lock it. Okay, now let's uh, put this on the stand, orientated left to loosen. So we're going to put the weight out, left side to the thread, which would undo the thread in a normal clamp. And there we are, it's not falling. Okay, now it won't stay here you know, with a lot of weight on it, it's rated at 2.2 kilograms. So if I put more force on it than 2.2 kilograms, it will roll at the ball socket. Okay, so it's not going to take you know, an insane amount of weight, but as you can see here, it's taking this light no problem at all. All right, so let's take a very quick look at the seven inch Magic Arm, and it's pretty much the same as the bigger Magic Arm. You know, built the same quality, it's just shorter. So this is probably better suited to camera department where you don't have a lot of room on top of your camera and you just want to position your monitor a bit better. All right, so now let's take a look at this arm. Now I was wondering where I, where I would use this arm because I'm used to seeing arms like this, but they don't work because the threads undo all the time, but that doesn't happen with this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount the DMG dash to it and position it around the table here to show you how much articulation you've got, particularly if you're doing say tabletop, um, tabletop photography. All right, so let's mount to the uh, stand here. All right, now I've left the quick release on, on the light from the previous setup. So the light is mounted as quick as that. Got the ball mount loose. Let's undo the extendable arm and I've got the ball mount loose here. So we can position this around with quite a bit of articulation to, to where we want to put it. Quite a bit of movement. All right, so let's say we want it there. Okay, let's start locking this off. Okay, and we're locked into position. Now I just want to emphasize again, I am on the left to loosen side from the thread and it's not slipping because of the, the design feature that they've got in there. So this arm actually could come in handy for this sort of, you know, this sort of you know, tabletop photography where you want to get your small backlight and orientate it correctly. All right, so um, that's another episode of Gaffer and Gear. See you next week, hopefully.